NBA 2K has been hard at work. News broke just yesterday. Head over to Epic Game Store right now through May 27th to download 2K21 and play it for free. For those curious, the current gen version of the game is the one that dropped on the Epic Store. I guess 2K is always looking for new ways to make money. It's no secret that 2K hasn't really cared about the PC side of gaming for a very long time. That's largely because it was unprofitable. Not only is the player base not large on there, but Steam takes anywhere from 20 to 30% of the cut every time a sale is made. So you might be wondering why 2K joined the Epic Game Store. It's because Epic only takes 12. It actually goes a lot further than that. Watch this. Even if I type in NBA 2K16 on the Steam Store, even though the servers are off, for some reason, it's still $59.99, a full price game four or five years after launch with no servers on. While you might see sales from time to time on Steam, 2K is pretty unwavering in their ability to not give a f about PC, which is why the Epic Games move is so interesting. It seems like the rest of the gaming industry is making similar moves. We saw Hitman launch on the Epic Store. I dropped the video on my second channel for those who watched that. The Assassin's Creed's of the world jumping onto the Epic Game Store. Days Gone, a PlayStation exclusive I thought is on the Epic Game Store. So Epic is really starting to badger away at some of the market share that Steam's been dominating for the past couple decades. NBA 2K is just the latest iteration. So I downloaded it. It is free after all. And I'm curious to see how different this is than the current gen version over there on Steam. The Epic Game Store is refreshing. Oh my God, I played Rogue Company on here. I played The Division on here. It's a beautiful, beautiful platform. Smooth menus, I like to see it. I know like the standards are so low for me, but bear with me guys. I've had horrible experiences on PC. Off the rip, I just wanna test the servers. I'm not gonna stick around. Let me just play a game. Also, I got my Xbox controller plugged in. It's actually beautiful to see Epic Games make moves like these to incentivize developers to wanna to port their game onto their platform. God damn, the Raptors overall has plummeted. See, how come at 83? Fred Van Fleet is the highest rated player on the team. That's wild. Hey, the latency is pretty bad right now. Hey, I have a question in the comment section. When the last time y'all played playing out online? Y'all do this stuff regularly? Or you haven't played it in a decade? It's usually one of the two. This latency isn't any worse than what you'd experience on console though. So far I'm noticing a lot of, what is it? I don't want to use the word ghosting, but it's when like fragments of the frame are sticking, but the rest of the frame is moving, but this fragment is stuck. You know what I'm saying? So the rest of the video is going along well, but this is stuck right here. Oh, and it kind of gives you an idea of the player base. So this game has been on the Epic Game Store for about a day now. 51,000 people in freshmen. Let's do the math. Let's see how many users there are. 56,000 people who've played Play Now Online. But I think regardless of whether or not you play Play Now Online, you still end up here, don't you? They got the results history, 8-2 victory. They got the trophies every time you level up. And they got the leaderboards. You guys already 51 and 0 in try hard. If I just get five wins, I can be in the top 100. Wait right there. The game crashed again. Let's boot it up again. Let's see if I just achieved a loss because of that game crash. I fucking hate this game. So not much has changed than you mean to tell me. They just took the same bullshit on Steam, put on Epic. That what you mean to tell me, 2K? All right, well, I guess it's a fucking that idea I had of being top 100. Fuck that whole idea. Hey, what pack we going with? Uh, Let's go Shaq pack, baby. There we go. We got, we got some players. Oh. Oh, hold on. Those are some good players right there. Team name, the Teeny Boppers. We are the Teeny Boppers. Okay, this mess of a UI. Let's go. Multiplayer, My Team Unlimited. This is a My Team Limited, a competitive weekend event with new lineup rules you must follow to participate. I mean, I get 2K servers is gonna be some cheeks, man, but usually the first few days after like the spike, the, the servers are solid and then 2K scales back because they love saving money. And then the servers get atrocious as the years go on. That's my That's been my experience since 2K17. It is the same game. They haven't added something new or different to the Epic Store. They just ported it. Okay, I'm playing Da Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like an artist I listen to. I'm not doing any of those things. I haven't played a triple threat game in my entire life, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first one. Yo, hold up. The servers on triple threat actually kind of feel good. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's still that same frame blending issue that existed on play now. Let me see that. Let me see that, Shaq. Good screen, Shaq, all the way down there. I love how you did that. Ah, big moves. I feel like if you're a fan of PC and you've been kind of begging for 2K to show attention to PC, it did gets a little hard when you hear news that 2K is doing something in the direction of PC. And I feel like the more 2K can incentivize themselves to make money off the PC version the way they do with consoles, the more attention they're going to show it. Let me get that. Thank you very much. Why don't we throw this up? Snatch. That's cash. All right. 
Let's not talk about it. Shaq, the fact that you're lining up at the three-point line and the fact that this bozo on the other team is playing off ball. You can't, that, that's why you're playing off ball. You got no user defense skills. Let me eat that. Let me eat that. Let me eat that. Shaq, why don't you go ahead and eat? Shaq! You had to pull it that far back. Shaq, you fucking set a screen on me, you fucking giant piece of lard. Move! We see you right there, boom. Back to T. Let's see that screen. Boom. And look, he's not gonna play no help. I mean, he's gonna play... All the way, all the way. Man! Man, I wish 2K would just drop a version of this game that had good servers. Like, I would get so excited at the... Ju That's not a foul? Hello? Come on, man. See me right there. Jeff, please hit this. You f blow by. Are you crazy? That's Jeff Teague. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Cash, watch me. Oh my God, if I hit that, my dick would be so rock hard right now. Bin double, bin double, do somebody. You bin double, bin double. Yeah, we out. Jeff, you're quick. Jeff, do something crazy with it. Jeff just blew by. Jeff just, he get dunked on. Yeah, you should be nervous right now. Oh my God, Shaq said he got it. Ah, uh, yay, rewards. Uh, that experience was dry. I guess, 2K, I get it, I know. Like, you didn't go out of your way to do anything special. You guys just hired a new dev team about a few months ago that worked on the current gen version of 2K21. You tasked those guys with coming out with the PC port on Epic, I get it. There's better splits there, but you dropped the game for free. Hopefully everybody that used to get the game on Steam is now getting it on Epic, where you're gonna make more money off it next year. It's a business decision, I get it. Everything else is what you'd expect from my team. They haven't done anything special. They really just brought the same game that existed on current gen over two epic games you might be wondering agent why didn't they bring the next gen version of the game to epic because they actually didn't come with the pc port at all for next gen so it would have been a little bit more work is nba 2k21 on current gen still available on the store yes it is so if you want you can still buy it on steam i don't know how long that's gonna last i doubt this game will release in 2k22 on steam i don't actually know what that means for like the modding community i actually don't know much information on how and what the experience is like modding games on epic but i do know on steam it's fairly simple Simple, just draw dragging and dropping into different folders and of course we got the infamous my career first step to building your NBA 2k21 players selecting your look and if you played the current gen version of the game well then you're probably very familiar with what I'm looking at right now and then I'm assuming as I've made myself a pure sharpshooter that we're probably gonna get the same exact story that we also got on a current gen 2k21 for the people who didn't buy on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, I feel like this is like a dope surprise. Like you get a chance to play 2K and you didn't buy the game, you got it for free, it's free for a week. It almost seems like a no brainer to at least throw it in your library just in case you might wanna play it in the summer. No matter how many times this game tries and crashes on me, two so far by the way, it's free and it's a AAA title. I don't care if I have no intention on playing a free AAA title, I'm at least downloading it so I can give myself the option in the future without having to fork up $70. I get I get it, the 2K team was split, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of work to do, it's a pandemic, you know what I'm saying? I understand. 2K22, there's no excuses for what just went on this year. I'm telling you that. I know this seems crazy, but in 2K18, just skipping cutscenes was like an innovative feature for 2K. I'm actually kind of happy they brought it back. Like my standards, guys, is this fucking low right now for what a good game constitutes in the sports basketball market. Okay, let's head over to the, hold on, the neighborhood? Aww. It didn't say the city, so I'm assuming we're gonna get the 2K Beach. I'm happy though. I prefer to use Epic Store over Steam. So when I do record on PC now for videos, I'm doing it on the Epic Store, not on Steam. I do also wanna to bring to everyone's attention, if you guys watched my last video, I was talking about crossplay and why Sony was getting in the way of that happening. Sony invests $450 million into Epic Games. Epic Games owns the Epic Games Store. 2K has partnered with PlayStation for the release of NBA 2K21. PlayStation, Sony, Sony invests in Epic, 2K game finally in Epic Game Store. I'm just saying it wasn't a far-fetched idea that this would eventually happen. Okay, so we are in the 2K beach. It does indeed look very lively. Frame stutters I'm already experiencing. Hey, I don't know if y'all see the bottom right, but there's already two legends, ladies and gentlemen. Now, something tells me they didn't work for all of that. <laughs> One day into the game and people already found a legend glitch on the Epic Store. So I guess it's not gonna be too different than 
the experience on Steam. In a couple days, everyone's gonna have those lanky 70 foot players dominating the neighborhood. 2K it would be nice at some point to have like reporting features. Chronic cheaters and people cheat because they know y'all don't care enough to do nothing about policing the game to make it enjoyable for everybody. That's just basic common decency on a game you're selling for 70 bones. 2K smart, man. They're experimenting with free to play here. They want to know if you drop the game for free, how many people are still going to go out of their way to drop money on microtransactions? If y'all remember correctly, the last time they did something like this was in the summer with 2K16. 2K16 was already like a rocket ship year in the game they dropped it free for everybody on playstation plus and the game absolutely took off everybody was playing it all summer it was the greatest 2k of all time in my opinion the views skyrocketed everybody was off the charts it's actually part of the reason why fredo blew up in popularity an already popular guy blew up even more as a result of the game being free and everybody playing so who knows maybe the epic game store will have a similar effect i got a game pretty easily that's kind of refreshing the game feels choppy to play. It probably doesn't look as choppy as it feels, unfortunately. I dead thought this guy was on my team, no cap. The latency is what you would expect from a 2K game. It's atrocious, but it's not any different on any of the other platforms. The game is not optimized though, and I get it. Like the game is free and it is first day's launch. This is a severe improvement from the servers just not being up at all yesterday. And while I do understand 2K is in the business of making money, it would be nice at some point if they just focused on an actual good product. Those who didn't watch, I dropped a video a couple weeks ago talking about a new dev team 2K bot with hundreds of new developers. They're calling this dev team Visual Concepts South. They're based out of Texas. It's probably not the same dev team in San Francisco that's been making 2K products for decades. This is a completely different team working on this port. Might as well. I guess they have f***ing free time, don't they? Don't clog the paint just yet, you f face! He's just bringing everyone down there with me. Oh, he got an ankle breaker! He got badges? Hello? Air ball. Let me get that rebound. Throw it up. This is your quintessential park experience. It's a little less optimized than I would like. Actually, way less optimized than I would have liked. Euro! And due to the fact that there's already two legends in this park, I have no doubt in my mind that the hackers will take over this version of the game as well. Which is sad, in my opinion. Part of the reason why PC ports are just bad is because they don't really feel like 2K, man. Because in 2K, like, there's a lot of trash talk. Like, you can go back and forth with people. On this version of the game, not only is there hack players out the ass, but there's also no voice chat. I can assure you, with no voice chat and no squad to play with, this neighborhood experience is just unfun. All right, well, I guess it doesn't hurt to try since it's free, but it's not any better than what you would experience on consoles, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually worse, significantly worse in terms of performance. So if you have an option, just play it on console. But for some reason, if you didn't buy it on console, you just want to play it for free, boom. Or if you prefer to play the game on PC, then boom. But otherwise, there's no real incentive for you to want to hop on and download this version of the game. Let me know how y'all feel about the epic version of NBA 2K21 current gen. If y'all new to the channel, man, subscribe. If not, man, go ahead, click on this here video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.